Okay, in this video we're checking out the Sky Stars Tiny Frog 75X. And this looks very similar to the uh, Beta FPV uh, Beta 75X that I reviewed nearly seven months ago. Similar frame, uh, similar motors, so I think these are Sky Stars branded 1103, 11,000 kV motors, and I believe the um, Beta FPV Beta 75X has the same motors, and they are on this plug here as well. Similar uh, setup in terms of board, so there's a 4-in-1 EAC board, and then there's a second board for the flight controller, and then there's going to be a small video transmitter that um, yeah, you're not really going to be able to see. It's underneath the camera there. The major difference uh, between this one and the uh, Beta 75X is the canopy appears to be a little bit tougher, a little thicker, and they're using the EOS 2 camera. I believe this is the 4.3 version. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, it's not documented anywhere, but uh, it seemed to have an okay field of view, not, not the best. But this camera is way better than the one that came on the, the 75X originally. And um, uh, probably a lot of you guys know that, that people that bought the 75X, 75X actually modded it, changed the canopy, and added this camera anyway. So um, this kind of comes already prepackaged with those mods already in there, and you can adjust the camera angle just by loosening up the screw and just moving it up and down. I think it goes, it's pretty loose already, so it goes up about that high there. And then you just push it down. You get a nearly flat uh, angle if you want for sl slower flying. Now, the frame here does feel flimsier than the one that's on the 75X. You see it's quite, you know, flexible. It has the same flight characteristics in terms of the yaw washout issues that the 75X has and a lot of these ducted 40 millimeter propped um, whoops out there even though they're 2S or 3S yeah this has the same problems. Oh, yeah, this is one, that's another thing that's one of the big differences between this one and the 75X is that um, the Beta, Beta FPV one I think only does up to 2S this one does 2 to 3S so you can stick a the only one they can I know of that works is the GNB 300 milliamp hour um, 3S, the one that came with the, uh, I think it was the uh, Happy Model Mobula 7 HD that does fit in here very tight, but it does fit. But uh, in terms of the tune, I didn't feel like the 3S was all that much better, and there was actually a lot of vibrations on the stock tune with the 3S battery. On the 2S battery that's included here, this is only, this is not a high volt as far as I know. I only charge it to 4.2. Uh, two volts. Uh, performance was okay on the stock tune. It was not a lot of power. This battery is, you know, probably not the highest quality. I don't know why there's such a super long balance lead. This longer than the main lead. This should be shorter. It's such an extra weight here that you just don't, you don't need. So, yeah, I don't know why they did that. Plus, it'll snag on stuff because there's nowhere to secure that on here, so you could get, get snag on a tree branch or something. It's just a bad idea all around. Um, in any event, I wouldn't recommend using this battery anyway. It wasn't. It's okay for cruising around, but if you want to do a little punch test, that kind of thing, go faster. Get either one of these batteries here, the GNB 300 milliamp hour high volts 2S, or the Happy Model 300 milliamp hour 2S high volts. Uh, these are actually the same battery, as far as I can tell. Um, I think they're made at the same factory and just rebranded. But yeah, put links to th those batteries down below. There's also the 3S battery, although you're gonna have to retune this if you want to um, fly it on 3S, but I didn't really really feel that much of a difference in terms of flight performance because you're adding more weight to get more power, so it kind of cancels each other out. So I think it's better, plus the flight times are shorter too. I forgot to mention that. It's just better to get uh, the 2S and get a little longer flight time. You get in roughly two and a half, three minutes if you're just kind of you know, uh, cruising around the park, I think I'll show you the flight demo. That's what I was doing. But as soon as you start doing uh, complicated uh, maneuvers like dives or split S's or Maddie flips, anything kind of weird, um, this thing will, will it'll, as soon as it comes out of it, it will just do a quick yaw spin, you know, a typical yaw washout that all of these guys do. And uh, yeah, I don't think the tuning or anything is going to solve that. It has to do with these ducks and the way. The drag and the airflow is disturbed in uh, the way Betaflight handles that and it doesn't handle it very well because it's not meant for these kinds of uh, frames. So um, that's I just for me I just 
comes with the territory if you want to buy one of these, if you want the protection of the ducks from hitting stuff, then yeah, you're just going to have to live with the yaw washouts and I don't even bother doing all the fancy tricks with this. If you want to do fancy tricks, don't get this. Get something like the Diatone, like the uh, the GTR, what is it, the 349? Yeah, the non-HD version. I think it only costs like maybe $30 more than this. Three inches, tons of power, super fast. Get that, don't get this. Yeah, I'll, I'll, put a link, I'll put a link down in the description with that video if you're into super fast power and tricks and, lo and loops and power loops and all that kind of stuff. This is not it. Plus the price on this isn't all that great. Yeah, it does come with a nice case. Um, you do get a spare set of props in here. It is the same ones that the, are in here, the jump fans. And you do get um, the battery. You do get these instructions here for the receiver. It's a Free Sky compatible receiver, D16 mode, but it is switchable from Futaba mode and, and Free Sky mode. It should come in Free Sky mode out of the box, but in case it doesn't, there are some instructions here on how to switch it. It's, I think it's in Chinese on one side and English on the other. So if that should happen, it shouldn't happen, but it's just in case um, you're not able to bind, then those instructions will guide you in terms of switching it to Free Sky mode. And then, uh, you know, obviously to bind it, you can just bind it through the USB port, uh, the receiver will power on, just plug that into your, uh, plug this into your computer, plug this in, it'll power up the receiver, going your power with the receiver, you want to press that bind button, it'll flash green, then you know you're in bind mode, and then just bind it to your transmitter, and you should be good to go. Okay, so one last thing, uh, the video transmitter is uh, Smart Audio, I think, is it a Smart Audio or RSC Tramp, it's VTX remote control, switchable via your transmitter, and it's switchable from 25 to 100 milliwatts max power, not 200 milliwatts like the uh, Beta 75X. That's another difference that should be noted. Anyway, so overall it's not a, you know, bad, uh, you know, 2S whoop compared to a lot of us out there. I think it's pretty much in line with a lot of things that are out there. And if you were thinking about getting the Beta 75X and modding it with the EOS 2 camera, this is not a bad option. It comes with the better props anyway. It comes with the better canopy and you don't have to do any modding. And the tune for 2S seems to be okay if you're just, you know, you know, just ripping around the park and just you know, doing like you know, line, you know, basically just going in straight lines and not doing a lot of flippy floppies. This should be fine for that. Um, don't really have much to say about this. You know, this genre has been around for the last uh, six, seven months now. Um, you've seen a lot of videos on these guys on my channel, so you know, you kind of already have an idea of what I'm talking about with these guys. These uh, the company here, Sky Stars, is a little bit late to the game. I think that now that the weather's warming up, um, I think interest in these is going to kind of wane a little bit. Um, so this is a bit, uh, you know, it's nice, uh, it's pretty polished out of the box, but it's a bit late to the game in my opinion. Anyway, if you guys are interested, I'll put a link down in the description, and I'll roll you some flight footage. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Alright, so I forgot to give you the weight, like I always do. Um, it weighs the same as the uh, 75X, by the way. I actually weighed this earlier. It's, uh, about 40 grams, I believe. Yeah, that's roughly, it's like 41 it's roughly about the same, so maybe like within a half a gram or a gram of the 75X, but it, this comes with the uh, EOS 2 camera instead of the uh, crappy ZO2 camera that uh, Beta FPV comes stock with on that one, plus uh, a more durable canopy. So I think they're taking the weight out of the frame and putting it into the camera and the canopy, which is, which is fine by me. Anyway, uh, here's some flight footage for you. 